irrelevant. Revelation. See, I was studying and I realized that God is a truthful God. His creation, he created a world on the premise of truthfulness. Because when you read the Bible very book of Genesis chapter 1, you realize that everything that God did, he said, and God blessed them and said, be fruitful. Even the earth, he said, be fruitful. The waters, he said, be fruitful. Creation is fruitful. Can I tell you something? Man, when you read the Bible very well, look of Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, 28. When he had finished creating man, he said, God create. He said, God said, let us create man in our own image. Two, he said, let them have dominion. Subdue. And he blessed them and said, be fruitful. Multiply. Replenish the what? It is an insult to your to your destiny if nothing at all is happening in your life. It's an insult. That means there is something that is happening in your life that you are refusing to address. Because if God is saying that even the trees should be fruitful, animals should be fruitful, and you man, you are not being fruitful, that means there is a problem with, with your life. Follow me very carefully and you pray. Amen. Amen. So, Fruitfulness is not something that we should look for. Fruitfulness is not something that you should look for. And you are there, and what's that? What you share? It is something that you must become. Fruitfulness is not an option. It is a necessity. It is a must for you to be fruitful. It is a must. Hello. Fruitfulness is not all about production. No. If you think that, if you say fruitful, that means you should give birth. You should give birth. I have seen people who have, give, who have given birth, birth whose life are still the same. Their life is messed up. So if you think fruitfulness is all about giving birth, then that means in this world, all what you were, you were created for is to give birth. Nothing goes, nothing comes. Your world is the same. Your life is the same. See, at the end of this thing, some of you understand that there is something that you have to handle as a man. There is something that you have to handle as a woman. Hello? There is something that is never satisfied. Barren womb. There is a spirit. The devil always wants you to be what? Empty. Unfruitful in life. Until you are voiced out, you will never see that manifestation. Amen. So what is fruitfulness? When you read about very well, I like this. Maba da 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 da. Maba da da da. Libra tabo. If you say, oh yeah, na na oh yeah. Now let us open to the Bible. Let us understand something so that you understand the definition of what I'm saying. Genesis chapter 1. Let us open to verse 5. Follow me very carefully. Now, we are going to jump and jump. Quick, just jump. Genesis chapter 1, verse 11. Let us all read. See, and God said, Let the earth bring forth grass. The herb yielding seed, the fruit tree yielding fruits after his kind. Look at something. Else. After his kind. After his kind. Whose seed is in itself upon what? The earth. And it was what? And it was what? Now jump to 21. Jump to 21. Genesis 1 21. Follow me very carefully. God created great wills and every living creature that moves, which the waters brought forth abundantly. After this kind, after this kind, the every winged f- 
foul after his kinds. And see, do you understand it? And God created great rose and every living creature that moved, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind. After their kind. Uh -huh. And every wind fell after his kind. And God saw that it was what? And God saw that it was what? Go to 22. Go to 22. If I say fruitfulness is not all about reproduction, you understand it here. And God blessed them, saying, be fruitful. And multiply. And fill the waters in the seas. And let fall multiply in the earth. Are you following? Now, go to 24. And God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind. <laughs> Cattle and creeping thing, the beast of the earth, after his what? And it was what? Go to 25. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind. Now, jump to 26. And God said, it was good. And God said, let us make man in our own image. Go to 27. God created man in his own image. In the image of God created him, male and female, created in them. 28. That's where we are going to emphasize. Uh -huh. Let us read together. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. See, fruitfulness is the ability of bringing out something after your kind. Something after your kind. Something after your kind. It is a mandate. It is not something that we must hope for. It is something that we must become. It is an offense if you as a man are not fruitful. Fruitfulness can be connected to your finances after your kind. To your family after your kind. To your job after your kind. To your progress after your kind. What manner of progress do you want to progress? What manner of money do you want to get? What manner of cars do you want to get? What manner of job do you want to get? Fruitfulness. Something after your kind. It is the manifestation of the desires of a man. Fruitfulness. Something after your kind. You, de you, you desire a very glorious marriage. Within the twinkle of an eye, you get it. You desire to get a new job. Twinkle of an eye, you get a job. You desire a bullion, not a billion, no, a bullion. Before you, a twinkle of an eye. Bam. Fruitfulness. Fruitfulness is not all about giving birth. It is the ability of bringing out something after your kind. After your kind, you desire to get an estate because it is the kind of building you want to get. After your kind, it is a must. Fruitfulness. Ah, how can you? be working for more than 10 years then you are no person of nothing there is something wrong how can you marry more than 5 years then you can't boast of anything you are 30 as a man you are still living with your parents there's a problem there's a problem there's a problem 30 years living in the same room with your parents, there's a problem. There's a problem. If you are a man here, at the age of 30, 30 is even too much. It's even too much. You are still living. 10 good, let me tell you. How can you be working? 
not less than three years, you have to boast of something. How can you be working for 10 good years? They can make you boast of even a property, something that you want to touch as that is mine. That means you are not fruitful. There is something that is attacking your life. If you don't deal with it, it will never be satisfied. Because it has the mandate to make your life empty. That at the end of your life, you cannot boast of anything. Bible said that, and God said, be fruitful. There will never be the state of multiplicity if you are never fruitful. Because fruitful provokes the grace of multiplicity. Maybe you are desiring for one house. So you realize you have two houses. Fruitfulness. Because there is a grace that is in you that has invoked that mandate of multiplicity. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? After 30 years, you are still struggling to make an ends meet. Unfruitfulness. There is a spirit that is attacking your destiny that has vowed that it will never end. It is not satisfied. Until you speak, it will continue to manifest in your life. Barren womb. At your age, you cannot boast of. You are looking. You are looking me. I'm also looking at you. You and I know that you have been at that same spot for a very long time. You are working. The more you work, the more you see. The more you work, the more you see loss. The more you work, the more you, not like you're not. That, there is a spirit behind it. See, even if you are a single person, eh, you are not dating. Eh? There is a blessing behind singleness. Because singleness is the ability whereby you can able to sit down. Identify what you can do. Identify your potential. Know the angle you can flow. Sometimes in a relationship, you are so crowded with so many things. You cannot think of yourself because now you are two. Your vision must be in line with the what the person. But in singleness, you are you are you are you are trying to identify your your life. But in that state of singleness, your life is still the same. Your life is still the same. You cannot boast of a life partner. Neither can you boast of something tangible that you you can tell yourself that indeed this I have done. In the state of my singleness, I have accomplished this. If you are here that you are praying for marriage and your life is still the same, you have not achieved anything. To this morning, I want you to get angry with yourself and pray. Maybe you are here, you are married more than three years, more than five years. Your life is still the same. I want you to get angry and deal with that spirit. How can a man? devil has blindfolded you. Maybe you have been praying for a child. You are not seeing it. But in your life, there are so many things that are empty. See? Your life has become empty. You cannot touch. You cannot point out, I have done this. You see, to sit down and say, oh indeed, I have really accomplished something of my life. There is something which is never satisfied. Get angry. Tell the person sitting beside that today I'll get angry. Today I'll get angry. Today I'll get angry. Ah, my my fellow married men and women here. After ten years, how can you boast? How can you touch? How can you talk? See, what can you talk to your to yourself? That, ah, see the day that we got married, we have been able to achieve this. We have been able to achieve this. Do you have a land to boast of? Do you have a property to boast of? Then you are quiet. The Bible says that there are things that are never satisfied. They are never satisfied. They are never saying it is enough. Maybe you have not seen this. You think it's all about marriage. You marry. You are still living in a single room. 
No, that is not your portion. Because God created you. You have the mandate to see something after your kind. You have the grace. It is a must. That's why I say that. Fruitfulness is not something that you should look for. It is something that you must become. It is a must. It's an insult to the grace in your life for you to be there, for you to be in one spot for a very long time. Say it is enough. Say it is enough. Say it is enough. Say it is enough. Ah, as old as you are, you are still praying for attention. As old as you are, when you are busy, you never seek an attention. You are still praying that somebody should give you an attention. As old as you are, you are seeking for an attention. Ah, I need an attention. Because you don't have a company. Because you don't have an estate. Because you don't have a property. Because you don't have something to get you busy. You are still seeking for an attention. You are fruitful. When I was talking, you were saying that, oh, the preaching is boring. You don't know where the preaching is going. Now you are quiet. Begin to examine your life. Begin to examine your life. You cannot boast of something. See, this morning, I want to anger you. So that when you stand up to play, you are dealing with the forces behind your emptiness of destiny. You are dealing. Tell the person beside you, I am angry. Don't hold me. I am angry. I am burning. I am burning. I am burning. See, life without a resource is an insult. As a man, if you are not seeing results in your life, you are an insult. It's an insult. It's an insult to your, to the purpose of creation. Woman, life with women, life without an resource, without resource is an insult. Students, life without resource is an insult. Life without a resource. Life. Anyone. You have started well for three good years. You are not seeing progress. There is a problem. The spirit of barrenness, barren womb, is after your life. It is dealing. You have lived in a house for good 10 years. You cannot boast of anything. Barren womb. Barren womb. Barren womb. Ah, sometimes people can go to the hospital. They'll tell you that you're alright. You're alright. You are okay. You are okay. But why am I not giving birth? Your mind is, I'm giving you a scenario, how the thing looks like. You are, in the eyes of people, they see you as Sheshaism. You are Shepheism. You are looking so good. But within your life, you know that you have been in a spot for more than so many years. Because you have refused to address the foundation. The foundation of that matter, you have refused to address it. How can you be using how can you be using a car, a transport car, for a very long time? For you have you have earned money. Sometimes the way the spirit of barrenness, barren womb operates, sometimes it blinds a man and makes him not to, to, to come to the realization that he has the capacity. In fact, in fact he ha- it is a must for him to what to progress. You are a student. Whilst others are taking awards, you are still there. We must all get the award. Even if they don't give us something, we must hear thank you. You have done well. Congratulations, you have done well. Even if you don't receive the gift, we must hear congratulations, you have done well. But the gift has finished. So I'm giving you, see, it is a proof. It is a proof. Some of you have stores. Things are getting empty and empty and empty. Then you are okay. Kagabala da da da. Imala da da da. It's an insult. See, get angry. If you don't see results in your life, get angry. For three years, you are not seeing results. Get angry. Four years. Oh, one year you pardon. Two years you pardon. Because the womb is the place of what preparation and development. One year you were developing. Two years you were developing. You were preparing yourself. Three years, if you are not seeing anything, that's it. It's a problem. Because the womb is a place. For preparation and uh, what and development, one year life was preparing you to enjoy, two years to enjoy, 
three years to enjoy. Well, four years. If that enjoyment does not materialize, there's a problem. I must speak it to myself. Get angry. Your father experienced this. One time, a friend of mine told me, as for his father, he liked only take a hand thing. If he has money to go and buy brand new TV, you say, no, it is not correct. You go and buy sports one. Then say, so there is not see. Good is bringing out something after your car. When you're having a car, it is not, no. You need to see. See, sometimes when the grace, when you are fruitful, you don't enforce yourself to acquire something. It comes naturally because it is a must for you to see it. You don't struggle. Maybe you are here, you did an estate. Before you realize, you have no intended to buy an estate. Before you realize, there's an estate. How did I manage to get it? I don't know. It is there. Fruitfulness. You want to get married. After that, what next? You got married. You got finished. Now, after marriage, you are seeing companies around. Properties around. You are seeing your children. You are doing well in school. You are fruitfulness. 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 But the day that you got married, hell broke loose. By the day you got a job, hell broke loose. By the day somebody promised you, hell broke loose. By the day you, you had a car, the kingdom of darkness became angry. Then all of a sudden, you don't see anything. Get angry with your life. Shout, I refuse to be where I am. I refuse to be where I am. I refuse to be where I am. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. That is why I have a problem. I have a problem. I'm, I'm, see, fruitfulness always gives man the mandate. It always propels man to always have a goal. Because you know that that is what you be achieving. You are here. You don't have a goal. You don't have a vision of where you become, where you are going. The spirit of barren womb is after your life. Tell the person that it is where you are standing in life, it is not enough. Be ready to move. Be ready to move. Be ready to move. Tell the person, I refuse. I refuse. To be where I am, I refuse to be where I am. I move, I move in the name of Jesus. I move in the name of Jesus. I progress. I move, I move, I move. Secret chapter 11, verse 12. Then you pray. Zachariah chapter 8, verse 11. See, I want to tell you that God is fruitful. If we are, if you were created in the image of God, if you were, see, it is never by mistake when God was telling them, be fruitful. Be fruitful. It, it, it's never by mistake oh, that God was saying, be fruitful. It's never by mistake because He has made us. Because, because, because that is what it is inside him. And Nefqua, Senya Kupo, Kase, do this, do that, do this. Like, it is not a mistake. See, and be blessed. And God said, be blessed. And God said, be blessed. And be fruitful. Be blessed. Be fruitful. See, let me tell you something. It is God. In the agenda of God. God is able to reproduce himself in a different way. Hallelujah. So he has made man to be able to, to, to reproduce himself in a different way. He has made man to express himself in a different way. What you are seeing in your life, maybe you have properties, maybe you have this, it is an expression 
of your kind. You want to give birth. It's an expression of yourself. You look at your father. Nothing comes. The spirit was not enough. You look at your mother. Nothing comes. The spirit was not satisfied. It has come to you. Let us rise up on our feet. Say, but now, I will not be, say, but now, I will not be unto the rest of these people as in the former days. Say the Lord of hosts. Mama, da, 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 12. 12. 12. For the seed shall be prosperous. The vine shall give her fruits. The ground shall give her increase. The heavens shall give their dew. And I will cause the remnant of these people to possess all things. Fruitfulness you possess. You possess. You possess. You possess. You possess. You possess. I prophesy. In the one and the sound of my voice. In the one, in the man. Who is going through certain barren experience. In the name of Jesus. It is over. It is over. In the one and the sound of my voice. Who has been at the same spot for so long. It is enough. In the name of Jesus. Shout it is over. It is over. It is over. It is over. The only prayer is prayer. That my father. In the spirit. I like what the Bible says. We are going to read this scripture. Then we will fire prayer. Open to the book of Matthew chapter 19. Verse 12. A common scripture. When I was reading this scripture, I came to realize that. The, see, today we are going to correct things that we we, 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 we we took a generational path. We are going to correct it. We are going to correct matters of the womb. Maybe your unfruitfulness started in your womb. Your unfruitfulness started in the womb. Maybe what you are seeing in life started from the womb. Your life has become, your life has been in the same spot for a very long time. It started from the womb. He said, for there are some Enoch which were born from their mother's womb. And there are some Enochs which were made Enochs of men. And there be Enochs which were made themselves Enochs for the kingdom of heaven. Say, he that is able to receive, let him receive. My father, my father. My father, my father. Father, my father. My father, my father. Father, my father. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. In the power. In the power. Fighting with my destiny. Fighting with my destiny. Fighting with my life. Fighting with my life. Fighting with my destiny. Fighting with my fruitfulness. In life. I say, clap my hands. Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah. Terminate the assignment. Terminate their power over my life. Clap your hands and fire prayer. Say, Clap your hands. I want everybody to be praying. Ragada <laughs> 
Clap your hands. It's a line of Judah service. When you rise up, oh. shout, I am rising up. I am moving. I am moving. I am shaking myself. This morning, any power, any power, any power, fighting, fighting against, against my life, my life. Fighting, fighting against, against my, my destiny. destiny. Oh God, oh God, against, against my fruitfulness, my fruitfulness. Causing, me causing me to experience, to experience. delay. 
delay, 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 I destroy it. I destroy it. I can never be in one place for a long time. I am moving. I am moving. Clap your hands. Destroy the spirit. Oh. I am not feeling your prayer. Oh. I am not feeling your prayer. To me, Pierre, and you work yes, 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 Clap your hands. Fire. Destroy. Fire. Destroy. Terminate. Fire. Clap your hands wherever you are. Overtake it. Overtake it. Destroy it. Overtake. Destroy. Overtake. Hey! 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 Hey!
people to fall and fail. See, don't take it for granted. See, if you have seen a man in your family falling and failing, that means the spirit of barrenness is around. We are going to pray against this, this spirit that any power that makes men, that makes the people, in fact, any power that, that with an agenda to make, ah, God is going to do something. I hear it. Ah. I see chains breaking. Ah. I see chains breaking. Ah. Are you ready to fire prayer? Ah, yeah. See, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. The power that makes others to fall and fail around me, before me, in my family. Oh God, as I clap my hands, I dethrone you. I terminate you over my life. In the name of Jesus, clap your hands. I cannot fail. I cannot fail. I cannot fall. Look at your father. Look at your mother. Look at your uncles. 
Sometimes you hear that they were once great. Sometimes you start up so well. But where you are seeing yourself right now, it is not where the spirit of barrenness. This mountain shall be removed. Oh, this mountain shall be removed. Oh, 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 this mouth shall be Jesus, Jesus, by my spirit. This mountain, this mountain, yeah, this mountain, yeah, da, 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 shall be removed. Hey! This mountain shall be removed. Hey! This mountain shall be, shall be. Come on, spirit. It's not my power. Rabasa da 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 da, 
Into fruitful land, into fruitful land. In, a place, in a place in my life, in my life that, is not fruitful. that is not fruitful. Oh God, oh God, power of to fruitful land. This prayer does not make sense, but take this prayer very serious. Because at the end of this prayer, any aspect of your life that you are not seeing results, you shall see results. Amen. In the aspects. Say that it's all about marriage. After marriage, after marriage, you are so there. See, I'm prophesizing to the all the ladies here. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. it shall never be said uh, anywhere uh, that you married uh, and you cause your husband uh, fall. Uh, it will never be said. Anywhere that you enter into this marriage with Balog, it will never be said anywhere but the life partner of your life that when you got married to me, before that I was doing well, but now my life is unfruitful. It will never be said anywhere. I prophesy, you shall enter marriage with grace. You shall overturn. You shall overturn every desert into fruitful land. I am prophesying to the women here. My father, my father, my father, my father. Oh God, oh God, turn my desert into fruitful land. Clap your hands and fire. The man gets angry. Come on, 
Barnabas. Fire. My father, my father. My father, my father. Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah. Powers of the highest. Powers of the highest. Overshadow me. Overshadow me. Overshadow my life. Overshadow my life. Overshadow my destiny. Overshadow my destiny. Overshadow me. Overshadow me. Everything. Everything. Around me. Around me. Overshadow it. Overshadow it. Oh God. Oh God. Overshadow me. Overshadow me. Make me fruitful. 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 Clap your hands. Say a prayer for one minute. <laughs> Jesus, where Jesus, 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 Jesus. Now all those here, come here, let me anoint you. All those here, come here, let me anoint you. All those, all those here. I mean, at this side, I saw a very heavy move of God. All those here. Mala da da da. Just. Hurry up, hurry up. Mala da 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 da. Mama da 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 da. Are you of fruitfulness? Are you of fruitfulness? Are you of fruitfulness? Every foundations in your life from today, you shall be fruitful. Your children shall be fruitful in Jesus' mighty name. Are you of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus? Are you of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus? Are you of Jesus? 
I love Jesus. Hey! I love fruitfulness. To me, Biara. Any who do a brabomo. For yes, to Christ with demon tea. Your prep to me, I see our brabomo. When I cook one home, and two free. Pibiara, you do a pushian altar. Jesus, we come against any bad luck. You start a project, you don't finish it. In the name of Jesus, hold it very well. Ma barati malada da 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 da. Le gros bala bada bada. What a pibiosa. Jesus Christ is the mighty. Father, are you of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus? Are you of fruitfulness in the name of Jesus? After marriage, may you see goodness in the name of Jesus. We bind all that from your father's side. Your days shall be great. In the name of Jesus, may you be fruitful in your life. In the name of Jesus, the children are anointed you, so you are free. Father, in the name of Jesus, I love fruitfulness. I love fruitfulness. I love fruitfulness. Today you shall be fruitful in your life. In the name of Jesus, Amen. In the name of Jesus, you shall be fruitful. Jesus. Your best shall know. Say yes to Christ on Jesus, your life shall not lack of oil. In the name of Jesus, there is someone here who is saying that I wish the man of God to touch me. Come. Touch me. There is someone here who is saying I wish the man of God to touch me because I, I want a breakthrough. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, as you step foot in this place, may 
all desert particles, elements, barrenness, land in your life, turn to fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus, today, may the highest power of God overshadow your life. May favor, may favor, may favor overshadow your life. Anything in your life which has been locked, today we unlock it. Today we unlock it. In the name of Jesus, any contact that has refused to contact you, today we open that portal. We open that portal. Any spirit which has hijacked the atmosphere, hijacked network, preventing your destiny helpers to locate you, to contact you, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we terminate the hijackers. We terminate the hijackers. Father, my hand is not my hand. Father, I pray, may you overshadow his life with favor. Overshadow his life with grace. I pray, every job that is in your life, which has been made undone, everything in your life, which has been put in a standstill. Today, we remove that covering. We activate that job. We activate that grace. In the name of Jesus, I pray as God's servants, Father, may his life never be the same. By the end of this service, may he feel an upliftment. May he feel an upliftment of burdens. May shock be removed. May altars be broken. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, expose his life with favor. Expose his life with favor. In the name of Jesus. Father, may you overshadow his life with an abundance of your grace. May it be known that the God of West City has done something. Father, we bless you. Do it unto him. What no man can do. This hand shall touch money. There is a restoration. In the name of Jesus. There is a restoration. In the name of Jesus. Anything that you touch, it got broken. That made people to doubt you. Today, they shall call you back. 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 With this hand, it shall turn to the hand of God. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, may you lift him up. Every place that he fell, lift him up. Every place that he fell, lift him up. Father, you have been with me. May you be with him. Father, Jesus, have mercy. you to your wife. I connect you to your wife. Let every greatness in you and your family be exposed. Every hidden treasures in your family that has been hidden may be released in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, show him mercy. Father, thank you. Turn things around him, around her, in Jesus' mighty name. Favor, 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 favor. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I break family pattern. I break family pattern. I look, I touch your head, I touch every member of your family. In the name of Jesus, let every yoke be uplifted, be removed. In the name of Jesus, I pray from henceforth, may it be all about testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now take your offering. Come and touch that. One minute to ten o'clock. Oh, 
accepted may it be blessed in the name of Jesus may this offering be accepted may it be blessed I pray let this be a seal let this be a stamp to our greatness may our testimony be sealed may it be signed and still and sealed in the name of Jesus Father, anyone under the sound of my voice whose blessing has been stolen, Father, we steal it back in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray, are this offering is lifted up, may we be lifted up above every problems, every challenges. We know that our life today will never be the same. In Jesus' mighty we pray. Amen. Amen. Sana Yesu Ti Oye Matam Foka Kwati Ni Nemo When you have your time, you can put it here. second edition of a line of Judah service. God bless you. The good news, say good news. Say good news. Good news. The good news is that this week you're having fasting and prayers. Yeah. 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 Clap your hands for Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. If you were here from Monday to Thursday, you will know what went on. Now when you come here, 8 o'clock, you are done. We will organize the prayers for you. And um, Sunday born, those who fasted, those, those who are still fasting, Sun, Monday when you come, I will anoint, I, like I anointed all Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I anointed everybody. So Monday when you come, Saturday, you are not here. I prayed for you and anointed everyone here. Amen. Are you a Saturday born? Okay. It's never too late. Amen. And uh, God bless you. So, we are going to stand on Deuteronomy chapter 28. Amen. And pray. 
whilst you are reading, you are praying with it. Every blessings of the Lord. I like it when he said, can you open to Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 28? Am I hearing Psalms? Huh? Amen. Huh? Who is operating? So from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock, we are here. 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock, we are here. God has to change your life. Next Sunday, we are going to enter to another dimensions. See another dimensions. So those of you that will be missing Sundays, continue. You will be having inconsistent track record of those things. I cannot mention them. So those who were here for last Sunday, you enjoyed and you pray your heart out. So believe that those things will never have an effect on you. This was another edifice. So the next one is going to be another fire. Say fire. So, so as we are preparing ourselves, because the Lord told us that this man we have to pray. Because this man is a man that God has God, God has ordained for his, his release of his blessings. It's, it's a month of total abandon and total rest. It is a, it is a man that God gives his children victory. A mastery over all their enemies. I don't know what your enemy is. If your enemy is poverty, this man, God has to give you mastery by it. God has to give you victory. Hallelujah. This month, may people come to you and confess to you that, please, I have, I have, I have hold this thing for a very long time from you. This money belongs to me. I prophesy. Anyone that is holding your money, accident or not by accident, unconsciously or what consciously, deliberately or indeliberate, may that money be released out of his hand. See, in this month of July, may your debtors return your money to you without even knowing that they have paid you. In the name of Jesus, anyone holding anything that belongs to you, in this month of July, I stand in the month and I stand in the rock. We break it, we release it in the name of Jesus. May everything that has been kept deprived from your life, may that be released. May that be released. May money be released. May your money be released. May your money be released. I pray people will refund your money without knowing that they have refunded your money to you. It will be like a dream. They'll come to you and ask you, have I given you your money? And it's in that time that you have to decide whether you are spiritual or not. In the name of Jesus, may every money which has been taken from the family be released. Be released. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will give another prayer topic for Tuesday. And I'll give it to you. 7 o'clock, we are here. When you come 7, 1, you are late. 7, 2, you are late. 7, 3, you are late. By 8 o'clock there, you are late. See, when you come by 8 o'clock, we are close. We can go. Like, we, we can do it. Because those who were here doing their day same, you can take part of it. So by 7 o'clock, you are please try as much as possible. 6 to 6. Untimia 6 to 4. Untimia 6 to 4. Don't come and tell me, Papa, I'm under medication. That is why you are under medication. Because you want to be under medication. You want to continue to drink medicine. But let me say my hands to those who are those who are ready for their breakthrough in this month. So 7 o'clock from Monday to Friday is a fasting period. 7 o'clock we are here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 7 o'clock. So tomorrow you are using, he said, the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of us. See, when you get to this place, we pray, Father, may you smite my enemies with madness. 
May you cause them to be blind over me every time. Hallelujah. So you're going to stand on this scripture, pray like never before. When you see any promise of God, you will stand on it and pray, Father, your word has said you bless me. Bless me. Bless my family. I like the verse 1, verse 2 of this scripture. They are so prophetic words. So, I believe from Monday to Friday you'll be here. Let's have a time with God. And I know that your life is not going to be the same. When I come, come along with your friends and family. Maybe their word will come. And through that, you have their breakthrough. Invite a friend. God bless you all. Let's share the grace. The love of God. Surely, goodness and mercy. All the days of our I pray, anyone under the sound of my voice, that you are feeling certain pains in your body, sickness in your body, you are under a demonic attack. I pray it comes to an end. In the name of Jesus, may that attack be terminated. May that sickness disappear. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are free. I pray that sickness shall not come no more. From the crowns of your head, source of your feet, I want you to declare it is my time. It is my season. I am free. May the Lord cause his face to shine over you always and be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Shalom.